In this video, we'll be discussing how to achieve limb occlusion pressure or LOP using the air cuff. Now, this is more applicable overall in a more clinical rehabilitation type scenario. It enables you to be a little bit more accurate in what limb occlusion pressure you are after, but also as you are moving further on in the rehabilitation phase, you can adjust it and to be a little bit more specific to that patient at that time. You can see I have the upper limb cuff on ready here. Now, generally across the board, you're looking somewhere around 40 or 50% of limb occlusion pressure. So what does that actually mean? There's a couple of ways you can work this out. We tend to use a stethoscope and you, for the upper limb, you will look for the radial pulse. You could also do it at the um, brachial pulse as well. And what you will do, you will increase the cuff in terms of pressure until you do not hear the pulse any longer. And then what you do is you release the valve until the pulse comes back and you, you make a note of that measurement. So for example, let's make it easy for you in the sense of the pressure was 150 millimeters of mercury when it reappeared on my stethoscope. If you're looking for around 50% of that pressure from 150, that would be 75 millimeters of mercury. Then what you would do is you will close the valve Looking at the gauge, you will increase the pressure to 75. From here, you will then detach and perform the exercise that you wish to achieve. For the lower limb, you'll be looking at somewhere around 60 to 80% of limb occlusion pressure. In a, in a way to measure that would be looking at the popliteal pulse or coming down to the foot and the ankle pulse or the dorsal pedal artery pulse here as well. Please remember to look at the safety aspects of where you're placing the cuff, as this obviously makes a significant difference. But using the air cuffs is fantastic in a clinical rehabilitation setting.